Hi, uh, welcome to my video tutorial on downloading, analyzing, and creating thematic maps from USDA and RCS soil data. In this tutorial, I will demonstrate how you can easily access valuable soil information and use it for hydrologic modeling and whatnot. So let's get started. The first step will be downloading the soil data development toolbox. Visit the USDA website and download the soil data development toolbox. This toolbox is freely available and will be a crucial tool for our analysis. Once downloaded, save it to a location of your choice. Second step will be adding the soil data development toolbox to ArcMap. Open ArcMap and navigate to the Arc toolbox. Right click on the toolbox and select Add Toolbox. Look at the soil data development toolbox file that you just downloaded and add it to your art toolbox. Now, the third step will be downloading Reader National Soil Data for your region of interest. So now we need to obtain the Greeted National Soil Survey Geographic Database for your desired region. For this example, I'll focus on Texas. Um, visit the respective website and download the soil data for Texas. So now, step four will be importing the greeted national soil data into ArcMap. To do the step four, I'm going to launch ArcMap, create a new project, and then click on Add Data and navigate to the downloaded greeted national soil data for Texas. So you'll add the soil data to your ArcMap project. My next step will be utilizing the Create Soil Map tool. In the Arc Toolbox, expand the Soil Data Development Toolbox. And then expand the Mapping Tool set. Select the Create Soil Map tool. Double click to open it and configure the two parameters to select the desired soil properties for mapping. The next step is generating thematic maps. Now it's time to generate thematic maps based on the selected soil properties. Running the Create Soil Map tool and Arc Map, it will create some uh, thematic maps showcasing the type of information that we wanna show. For that, I'll keep the map unit layer as the raster that I have. Then for the SDV folder, I'll go to soil physical properties. And under that, I can see different type of information so like oh, available water supply, bulk density, percent clay, sand, and silt. Then I also have the saturated hydraulic conductivity. These are the things that we basically need uh, to use in our hydrologic modeling. So I'm going to show an example of how we can get the person clay information. So I'm going to select person clay. And for that, it's gonna ask me how much depth I'm going to consider. 
So here I'm planning to see up to 200 centimeters and the top depth I'm keeping it as the default zero. So with that, with all the default uh, settings, I'm going to click OK. And it's going to generate the map for me. It might take some time. So here it is. It has given me a layer. OK, so here what I can see, it has a categorized uh, a layer where it's showing me the percentage of clay. If I open the attribute table, maximize it. So we can see that for the raster, with every map unit, we can see the percentage of clay. The same way we can do it for silt, for sand, and then we can do some other operations to find out the maximum percentage of the material. For example, if the clay is more than 50% for one uh, map unit, we are going to classify it as clay and we can input the information while we are preparing a hydrologic model. Congratulations, you have successfully downloaded USDA and RCS soil data, analyzed it based on the various soil properties and created thematic maps using the soil data development toolbox. And you have also learned how to extract values from the attribute table and incorporate them to the modeling that you're going to do. Thank you.